always at positive edge of the clock if reset is equal to 1 if reset is 1 output of the flip flop will be reset to 0 else when I am using a case statement here you can use if else statement also so in the case statement I am taking the different case of input values for s and r I am concatenating these two since these two are a single bit inputs I am concatenating and making it as two bit that's why the next step is as I uh, taking the possibilities of s and r 2 tick b 0 0 is the input uh, I will say q will be same as q when 0 1 is the input q should be 0 1 0 is the input from sr q should be 1 1 1 is the input from sr it should give z means uh, we can't say whether it is 1 or 0 there will be race between q and q bar that's why it is unknown we are going to represent with 